Hi guys, I'm so excited that we are finally watching the 75th Independence Parade live for the first time. Let's enjoy this train journey to the fullest. So, what's your plan? As we're going to reach New Delhi tomorrow, why don't we discuss what we know about some of the past national leaders of the Republic of India? Who are some of the greatest post-independence leaders? So, we're going to become actors in front of judgmental old people? Sounds pretty good. So, who do we choose and how do we choose it? So, everyone is going to pick someone to impersonate them. Who would you like to choose? I'll pick Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister. I'll pick Prajpa uh, Patel. Okay, I, I can pick I Prime can... Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao. I will do Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. So, who is doing it first? Pansini, I think you should. I can do it. I can do it. As a previous Prime Minister, a lot of people have different opinions about me. After all, I was born with politics, but I was grew up with a different type of politics. Not in those days, politics was not considered as a career. It was considered as a freedom movement. Even though that was the case, I became a Prime Minister of India. And I did wonderful things. Under my leadership, I defeated West Bank of Pakistan in the Bangladesh Liberation War, and I facilitated the Green Revolution. Also, I nationalized banks. I was also the first prime minister, female prime minister in India today. And the first asteroid went to the moon under my watch. I also introduced clauses to the Indian constitution related to equal pay for men and women. Coming to this special day, I wanted to say that we have progressed a lot, but we still have a long way to go. We will achieve that. After all, we have survived the British. I would like to conclude this message by saying, have a wonderful Independence Day. Jai Hind. Wow, that was pretty good. Who would want to go next? I can do it. I'm, I'm an Indian economist, a member of the Indian National Congress, a politician who served as the 13th Prime Minister of India from 2004 to 2014. I was also known as the first Sikh Prime Minister of India. Though I was born in West Punjab, which is in Pakistan, I used to have a lot of respect towards India. I worked for the United Nations during 1966 to 1969. During the 1970s and 1980s, I held several key posts in the government of India, such as Chief Economic Advertiser in 1972 to 1976. Governor of the Reserve Bank, 1982 to 1985, and, and head of the Planning Commission, 1985 to 1987. I, along with the Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, preside over the period where the Indian economy grew with an 8 to 9 percent economic growth rate. In 2007, India achieved its highest GDP growth rate. Growth rate of 9% and become the second fastest growing major economy in the world. I faced a lot of obstacles in my life, in my career, but had an amazing time becoming part of Indian politics. Jai Hind. Hey Rachana, do you want to go next? Sure. I am Pratipa Mathur. I am a politician who served as the 12th president of India from 2007 to 2012. I previously served as the governor of Rajasthan from 2004 to 2007. In 1962, at the age of 27, I was elected to the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly for the Jaragun constituency. I held various cabinet portfolios during my period in the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly, and I had also held official positions while in both the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. In the same month that I was selected as a member of the UPA, I was accused of shielding my brother, G. N. Patel, in 2005 Vishram Patel murder case. I set, I set up Vidya Bharati Sikshan Parshak Mandal, an educational institute which runs a chain of schools and colleges in Amaravati, Jalagong, 
Pune and Mumbai. I earned a master's degree in political science and economics at Mulji Jaita College and later received a law degree from the Government Law College, Mumbai. I joined an Indian National Congress and entered politics in 1962 as a member of the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. Jai Hind. Okay, now I'll be taking PV Narasimha Rao. I am Pamurapati Venkat Narasimha Rao, a ninth Prime Minister of India. I was born in 1921 in a Telugu speaking family in Narsampet, currently in Telangana. I was part of the Indian independence movement as a freedom fighter myself, and I first entered the political stream through the Indian National Congress. I had served as a member of the Andhra, Andhra Pradesh State Assembly, as a member of parliament in the Lok Sabha, and as a minister of external affairs, home affairs, and defense before taking this role. I was also the fourth CM of the state of Andhra Pradesh. I led the administration overseeing major economic transformation at a time when India was on the verge of bankruptcy. I mandated the launch of our country's globalization, leading to a major economic transformation. I was also a lawyer. I was able to complete a tenure with a minority government. I rekindled India's nuclear program and I was able to establish diplomatic relations with Israel. I completed a master's degree in law. I made an impact in my tenure. Jai Hind. Wow. At the beginning, when I was um, speaking, I was actually quite um, nervous if I would fumble. Looks like it was a good journey that we had. Oh, we reached the station. Looks like we got to go, guys. Bye. See you at the hotel. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.